Yo, I'm still out here on the road. We got stuck in a damn uh, dust storm. This shit looked like a tornado. It was wild. It, it, it was like a bunch of small tornado looking things with all this dirt. Then they just got huge as the sky. This shit was crazy. Yeah, they shut down everything for like three hours. It wouldn't let nobody drive because basically all you seen was like dust in the air. You couldn't even see five feet in front of you. But anyway, you know, uh, much love to all y'all who trying to reach out. And uh, I understand, and I'm, I'm speaking a little loud, but I totally understand where y'all coming from saying, you know, squash the beef and this, that. Let me explain something, though. And I, I want to be real with y'all. It ain't no beef. I've explained this on my page many a times, dog. Y'all hear me say I'm not going to get personal talking about people. You know, I try to refrain from that. What I said, I stand by. If a dog has a heart murmur, if a dog has a elongated palate, if a dog has any cardiovascular issues, you are risking this dog's life. You are damaging the breed by um, by breeding this. this. This goes for every breed. It's always been that way. It's been common knowledge. If you if the dog has bad feet and other issues, you should not breed these dogs. It's been 12 years, and some of y'all need to open your eyes to the fact that every time we do this and we talk about this, the next routine is when someone gets butt hurt, they change the narrative. You know what I mean? Then it becomes a bunch of lies and personal attacks made up stories i didn't produce my dogs even when people come on there you got people lying talking about somebody stole their money when i'm openly saying any dog that i have for sale if you ever made a deposit your deposit is good for a lifetime you can always apply that deposit so you know what i mean these is all things that i've always done you know what i mean so i'm not gonna keep on going over that but the one thing like i said on the other live and stuff and originally i said that I wasn't directing it at uh, Joel or whatever because he didn't say nothing originally. But once he start putting on karate outfits and talking about what he would do to me, and keep in mind, I'm not threatening anyone. I'm not going to let, man, look, y'all know how I'm cut. I'm not going to let somebody threaten and try to bully me, try to manipulate me, try to do all these posts to shut me up because they're fucking over these dogs and, they, and I'm messing with their money by saying breed healthy dogs. I don't make it personal. I don't make threats towards people. But the one thing I'm not going to do is let nobody make threats towards me. The only thing I said is don't breed them fucked up dogs. So if somebody has a problem with that, that's their problem. If they choose to come at me, y'all stop saying, oh, y'all beef and this, that, and the other. And y'all open your eyes. And open your eyes to the people that you're talking about as great breeders and respectable breeders. Because if you breed in health flaws, if you breed in issues, you are not a great breeder. And y'all call people great because they're getting likes on YouTube. Look into what they really bred. Look into what they really made. You stand on your dogs, man. I stand on my dogs to the point where people got to lie and say I didn't breed my dogs. These motherfuckers are so cold. But what I'm telling y'all, real talk is... Look at my words. Look what I did. I never made nothing personal with nobody. I've stuck to the same script that I've always stuck. Healthy dogs matter, yo. That's what I've always said. That's what I've always done. Healthy dogs matter. And I'm not going to let anybody call themselves trying to put you. You picked the wrong one. Y'all can go over the internet. Y'all can call me killer, murderer, drug dealer, pimp, thief, whatever. Try to shame me. I'm like Dave Chappelle. You can't cancel a motherfucker who don't care about you don't care about your opinion this healthy dog matter shit is part of my life fighting for this breed is part of my life i've been with this breed more than half of my life so i'm gonna keep on fighting for it and i understand why y'all want peace but sometimes y'all need to really direct that energy towards the people who starting the shit i'm not talking about nobody's family i'm not talking about nobody's dead mama I'm not taking shots. I'm not putting on karate outfits and talking about I'm going to break somebody's arm. I'm not talking about, oh, I send stuff to your house. I'm not making up stories talking about I came to a show to fight you and this and that. and yeah. I'm not doing none of that. I'm saying don't breed healthy dogs. So if y'all got that energy, y'all tell them bitches to shut the fuck up because I'm not them other guys on the Internet. I'm a different type of animal, and they really can't bother me with this. I'm going to say what I want because I feel like I'm standing on the right thing. 
and they can click up, they can get a hundred motherfuckers, but at the end of the day, it's always the same thing. When I blow through, y'all gonna call them police. So let's just leave it there. Y'all ain't no gangsters. Y'all ain't talking up, man, let it go. Healthy dogs matter, that's all I'm on. No threats, no nothing. That's them doing that. But what they doing is effective because the reality is y'all ain't looking at the fact that they the ones who breeding dogs with elongated palates and doing surgeries and breeding dogs with heart murmurs and breeding dogs with bad backs and this and that and the other because that's what was really the topic. They changed the topic up on y'all, man. But like I said, man, much love to everybody who's supporting or whatever. You know what I mean? Real breeders, keep on breeding healthy dogs. Keep on pushing for the betterment of the breed. And y'all can keep all that sucker shit, man. I'm a different type of animal. It really don't phase me. I'm laughing at the shit, literally. All right, much love, y'all. Peace.